Hello, welcome to a new exciting creature tutorial where we're going to cover a new exciting feature that has just been added and this feature allows you to essentially import in a spline or path component from Unreal Engine and use it as a motion path for your character in creature. Very, very exciting stuff. And there's many reasons why you want to do this. One of the reasons is you might have a cutscene or gameplay feature where you already have a spine component that you use for your characters or gameplay and you want an additional creature character to follow that spline in in an animated way as a cutscene so you can all, get all the secondary nice secondary motion and physics with that spline component right so to get started let's start with an empty character in Unreal Engine and I'm going to add a component and search for spline component. Now this is just the standard Unreal Engine spline component, okay? So if you don't know how to use it, please look up the tutorials on the Epic website on how to use the author points on the spline component. But it's really simple actually. You can actually drag the key points of the spline component itself. You can you can drag them around around the scene and you can also add key points. I believe you, if you press alt and you drag another point, you get another key point. There you go. Right? So let's just author three key points. Right? Very simple. We're going to make a simple path. And you can also change the, the tangents. Let's see. There you go. You can change the tangents of the spline component. So I could basically do something like this. And I can author the tangents like so. OK. All right. So simple, simple path. Right? And let me move the character. Or let me let me try something like this. Okay, so let's let's go with this 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 path over here. So now what you can see we have the spline component doing some uh, a simple path something like this, right? Okay, and let me just move this point upwards so it doesn't actually cover go underneath the floor. Okay, and I'm going to change the tangents just slightly. Okay, all right. So here's here's our path. We'll go with this path. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually export this spline component into Creature. And how do we do this? Well, with the new Creature plugin, which you should grab from GitHub, I have actually integrated the spline component's functionality into the Creature plugin itself, which is really cool. So if you, if you have the plugin installed, you're going to see a new panel over here called Creature Tool. And that's Curve Export. So just click on Save As. And that will enable you to save that curve onto a file. So let's call it my curve 3. All right? Okay, so that saves out the curve and I will see you in creature. We we're, we're going to import that curve directly into creature. Oh, welcome to creature and we are going to animate this bird character over here using the path we authored from Unreal Engine, All right? So this is a very simple character with a bunch of motors going on. We have a, a rotate cycle motor driving the band physics to make the tail floppy. And I have a mesh deform motor that's doing the mesh deform flapping motion to help me do the wing flapping. All right, so nothing fancy, very simple character. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going, we're going to add a new motion path. So go to paths and click on add path. All right, and oh, before I continue, it also helps if you have sort of a background guide of your Unreal scene, right? So you can actually match the motion path with the scene. And so what you do is go into Guides and click on Install Guide and click on Image Guide. And what we can do is we can go in and add in that image, which is useful. I've taken a screenshot of the actual Unreal scene, right? So we are going to basically make this guy larger and use this we're just going to sort of place it here so we can easily see what's going on it's easier that way right okay save now we are going to go into the path we created click on edit path and now there's a new button called import path so click on import path and select the file that we just create it exports it from Unreal Engine it's called Minecraft 3 so and then give it a scaling and this will is dependent completely on the scale of the curve you export it from your engine right because scales are relative and so you can play around with this value and see how to fit the curve easily but don't worry you can also scale the curve after you've imported so it's not a big deal now 
the more important things you need to care about are the max, map X and map, map Y options. So this allows you to map the X, Y, and Z components onto your your actual 2D path in Creature, right? Because Creature is 2D, but Unreal Engine is 3D. So you can actually flip between which components you want to map the curve to, right? So you can map the X component to the Y, you can map the X component to the Z, and so on and so forth. So let's try X and Z right now. And that's our path. Okay, it might be too small. So what we can do is we can import the path again. And let's just try a larger scaling factor, say, 15 maybe that's still a bit small so let's just go to 20 let's see what we get okay that's almost close to that and then we can translate the path into place so go to mode click on translate and you can basically move the curve very easily and you can see it fits actually really well <laughs> which is fantastic right so that's our motion motion path okay and then once you're done with that well let's just move it slightly in place here okay that's Good enough for me. Click on Finish Editing. All right, and that's our motion path. If you play it, obviously nothing happens, but you can see the motion path point traverse along the, the curve. That's what we want. Okay, and you can do more editing of the motion path. So again, look up the motion path tutorial in Creature to learn how to actually use the motion path functionality. Okay, so now we have that. What we could want to do is we want to transfer the path motion onto our character. So I'm going to transfer that onto the root bone first of all. So we'll click on install motor and click on path build motor. Okay, and then I'm going to pick the path, which is path one. And if I play it, you can already see the characters following the path. Pretty cool, huh? Of course, you can change the offset so you can actually make the character lean on the path or, or actually intersect the path closer, right? So we can change the offset Y, for example, to make the character actually be on the path. Maybe negative 5 was too much, so let's try negative 3. Okay, so now the character is actually sort of following the path. And I can make it even more compelling, so to speak, by actually having, say, these three, these three bones here also have a path motor. So let's try that too and I'm going to also select path 1. Now it's going to look ridiculous at first, but don't worry, that's because they're all squished together. So what you do is you want to scale it up, right? So let's increase the scaling. Let's say a factor of 5. Oh, that's still too little. Let's try 15. That's more like it, and let's play it. And I can see the character actually arches and curves, arches and curves around, follows the curve, right? That's pretty cool. See how it follows the curve now? The entire character has this sort of motion that anticipates the arc of the curve. So you can do that too. You can actually apply the path build motor to multiple bones, and then it will actually follow the curve perfectly. You can tweak around the parameters. Again, look up the tutorial on the path build motor because it goes through all these different settings and allows you to do some really amazing custom motion that follows the curve. Okay. All right, so now we actually have this character following the curve in our Unreal Engine level, which we just authored, again, from Unreal Engine and imported in Creature. So the next thing, you, next thing you're going to do is to export the animation. So I'm going to do an export, advanced export, maybe take down the resolution by, say, 50% to make it more reasonable, right? Or maybe even less. Let's try this. It seems like. So you can toggle around this value again. Anyway, so now we have toggled the resolution to a more reasonable value. We can essentially export the animation into JSON, and I'll see you back in Unreal Engine, where we're going to import the character in and then visualize it in Unreal Engine. OK, welcome back to Unreal Engine. And here's the exciting bit. We're going to take the character we authored with the Unreal Engine path and bring it back to Unreal Engine. <laughs> right, so again, this is just a standard UE4 creature pipeline. So I have a character here I made it into a blueprint. I am going to add it in a blueprint, add in the creature mesh component, right? And I'm going to select the creature asset, which is the bird character, all right? And then I'm going to give it a material over here, there's all imported stuff. I see it. Fantastic. Okay, let me close. 
And if we play it, oh, where's, let's see. Oh, there you go. Okay, so there's our character now. You can see, actually, oh, one other thing is you probably want to change the material to two-sided because the wing actually flips on itself. So you probably want a two-sided material. So let's give that a go again. Let's see what we get. Oh, there you go. Now, okay, so that's our bird character following the path now in Unreal Engine. All right, pretty cool, huh? So again, to recap, this new feature allows you to essentially author a path in Unreal Engine using the spline component, and then you can take that and then export it out as a path curve file, import that into Creature, author your paths in Creature, and then bring it back into Unreal Engine. So it's a very, very powerful feature because you can combine that with cutscenes or gameplay whenever you need characters to follow a certain path with a specific, say, spline or path component in Unreal Engine that, that it needs to adhere to, right? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun animating. Hope this feature is very useful for your gameplay development in UE4. Thanks for watching.